Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BE with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. What's going on? I'm Ace Money, and this is Sportsbook Robbery. This is for uh, Sunday's WNBA games. Uh, it's probably be my last video until playoffs. I think there's like five games on the slate, big slate. I do have a few plays. I went through the whole thing, and uh, these definitely jumped out at me. Uh, run through them kind of quick. Let's get it. Brianna Stewart rebounds over seven and a half. Now, minus 118, Fandle. Head to head. They're playing uh, Minnesota in New York. Three times this year they played. Easily cleared it. 11, 11. And beginning of July, she had 17. Uh, last 10 games, she hasn't really cleared this. I just, I don't know why. When she plays them, she goes off. Minnesota's ninth rebounds allowed. Forward position, seventh. Guard position, ninth. Center, eighth. But, uh... I was going to mix her points and rebounds. Maybe that's a better idea. Uh, I just think with her getting so many head-to-head, -head, that might be the best bet. In case uh, they don't play the whole game, she, you know, or, or whatnot. But this is the way I went. So uh, rebound, seven and a half. Brianna Stewart, let's get it. Uh, she made me plenty of cash all year, and she banged up her knee. And then she tried to come back uh, in the middle of August, I think it was, and then uh, kind of re-injured it. But uh, she's been back and uh, trying to get in that shape, that, that playoff shape to, to make this run and win this championship. Uh, Laney Hamilton rebounds over three and a half. Like a, in this spot especially, uh, Minus 106. Minnesota's not that good at rebounds as we just went over. But uh, she cleared the seven out of the last ten games. These last four or five games, she's almost doubling it. Besides that game versus Dallas. But even this last game versus Dallas, she's easily cleared it. Head-to-head. -head, the last game, this is right before she got hurt. She got six, I think it was. Couple games before that, played in May and June. She didn't go over it, but um, I just like it in this spot. She's like I said, she's getting ready to uh, make this playoff run. She's getting in shape. She's playing good. She's starting to feel better. I could tell her and I see her on the court. Uh, leads me in my next play. I played her threes. Now Minnesota's good defending the three. But uh, they got it at one and a half, a good plus money, plus 140. Uh, they're a half unit. Plus money plays, I always like to bet less anyway, just because obviously they're way harder to hit. Um, well, I had to head. Last 10 games, I'm not even going to the last 10. She came back 26th of August, but then. Uh, she kind of ranged at her knee again. She wasn't feeling ready. And she came back like the 5th, the 8th, 10th, and the 12th of the last four games she's played. She's hit this 3 out of 4. Uh, I think it's going to be a closer game. The spreads are like 3 or 4, I believe. And uh, it's when she does her best work. And the game's really tight and they need to pull away. Uh, I've seen her do it. And uh, it's more of a gut feeling than, than statistics and everything else. Uh I bet it. I like it. Let's get it. Her rebounds over three and a half and over one and a half threes. Oh my God. UFC fights on. 
So, Mally Fay, you gotta see how bad this girl's face just got split. Oh, man. Ah, shit. Bridget Carlton. Wow, sorry. Bridget Carlton. Three pointers over two and a half. Brought it right back up to good plus money. Now, I made plenty of money off this throughout the year, and uh, she started falling off, hitting it, not hitting it. And I've been paying attention. Now, you see, once again, calling me crazy. Had four, missed it, had four, missed it, had four, missed it, had four, missed it. What's that tell you? Let's get that four, right? I was going to sprinkle a little bit on four just to see, but uh, no, I'm going to do a little half unit at the two and a half, and uh, hopefully the strategy works. Uh, I've been playing her all year. We break down for the year. If you guys have been watching, you know we've been playing her. You know, now it's back. It's It's been at this plus money, but they brought it back down. So when it's at this plus money, even when we miss it for a day, you know, you don't jack your unit size, but the same amount every time. So when it wins, you win in triple the amount, basically. So, uh, you know, you just got to stop. If she starts losing, she don't really lose more than twice in a row. So it's been very profitable. Uh, let's get it. Bridget calling over two and a half threes. They got her at four. Her four is like plus four or something. But with three and a half, it's plus 450. I was thinking about sprinkling something on there. But all right. I got uh, Kennedy Carter. Rebounds over four and a half. Minus 106. Fandle. They're playing Phoenix now. If you've been watching, you've been noticing... I got this little strategy where I play guards, uh, decent rebounders versus Phoenix. They always rebound and do well, just like yesterday. I think it was yesterday. Uh, play Carrington. Uh, nice plus money play. She killed it. Uh, Phoenix, last place and rebounds allowed. 11th at a guard position. But, uh... Last five games, played this four out of five. It looked a little better at ten. Ten games was that six out of ten. Uh, six games versus Minnesota, and they're okay at rebounding. Uh, Phoenix, last time they played Phoenix, she got six. But it's just a strategy I've been playing, and it's been working. I saw I'm a rock with it. Uh, she's athletic, aggressive. Uh, she should be able to grab him. So Kennedy Carter over four and a half rebounds. Don't let them me down. All right, I'd like to take this time and ask you if you could like the video. If you like what you see and it works out for you, hit that subscribe button. Turn on notifications on us where you get all my plays, my live bets, my videos, NFL, whatever I bet I give to you. Uh, try to be as transparent as possible. Uh, people who do like and comment, I do appreciate you. Uh, thank you. And let's get them money. Uh, it's another cash cow. I don't understand why I don't move this number. Uh, I'm not complaining. Uh, I mean, Cashing for about two weeks now. Brianna Jones over 14 and a half. Uh, you could play it at 15 and a half. Always like to alt line it and get the lower number I can. You know, the amount of money I spend is not that much a play. Uh, so, difference between 145 and 120 would be two, three dollars on a win. Uh, she's been killing it. We've been cashing it all these days. So, I'm going to continue to play it until she shows me something else. Really ain't much else to say. Uh, head to head, 75% hit rate, last 500. They are playing Vegas, you know, which is a better team, but uh, they ain't that great. Uh, I think they got more hype than anything. They were good last year. But uh, we'll see what happens. Brianna Jones points 14 and a half. Let's get it. Last but not least, uh, 
It's another one. Marina Mabry, points over 13 and a half. You want to give this to me at 13 and a half? I'll take it all day. Uh, minus 118, FanDuel. Uh, since she got traded, even before she got traded, I was playing it. But now she got a better team, and she's coming off the bench, and she, she can play. And uh, look at these numbers. It's crazy. Yeah, she missed these two. They, uh, she started when, when she came to Connecticut. They had a in the starting lineup, then they moved there, and they were figuring shit out. And, of course, she had an off day or two. But she's been killing it. Uh, and we've just been cashing it, so we continue to rock with it. She's exceeded 13 and a half in eight of the last 10 games, averaging 16. She can shoot the three. Uh, she gets assists. She rebounds. For the longest time, I was playing her assists over three and a half. Let me check that out. I haven't looked in a while. I was like, they ain't even offering that. That's how you know it's still good. Those fucking scumbags. But, uh, yeah, so I appreciate everyone. Like I said, if you could like the video, uh, also leave a comment, likes and comments, so I'll get the videos out there. I appreciate everyone. Uh, a lot of bets are between this and the NFL. They all fell on a Sunday, and I'm going to have more NFL bets because uh, a lot of bets and things like that. Uh, just be careful. Don't chase your losses. Don't try to always bet the same amount. Don't don't change your unit size. Uh, you know, definitely don't chase your losses. And uh, let's get that money. Ace money, the name, getting paid for the game. Let's go. Uh-huh.